Pauline Tully. It's the last question. Um, Minister, uh, have you had any discussions with the ministers or senior management at the Department of Health or the Department of Children, Disability, mm -hmm. Equal Equality, and, uh, Disability, Integration and Youth in, re in regard to addressing the existing pay disparity that exists between workers in Section 39 and workers employed directly by the HSC or Section 38 organisations? And if so, what plans are being put in place to address the issue and the time frame for doing so? Uh, so the employees of agencies that are funded under Section 38 of the Health Act of 2004 are classified as public servants. They are subject to the standard salary scales from the health sector, as well as having access in the main to a public service pension scheme. The employees are included in public service employment numbers. Accordingly, staff employed by Section 38 organisations benefit from the terms of the public service agreements negotiated between the government as an employer and trade unions and associations representing public servants. The current collective agreement, the Public Service Agreement, up to 2026, was reached earlier this year and provides pay adjustments of 9.25% over two and a half years. Section 39 organisations form part of the broader community and voluntary sector. They are grant funded in line with Section 39 of the Health Act of 2004. It is the position that these organisations are not public bodies rather they are private and independently run entities. So the employees of these organisations are not public servants. As such, their terms and conditions of employment are a matter between each organisation and its employees. I understand there is a process of engagement currently underway at the Workplace Relations Commission with the participation of the Department of Children, Equality, Disability, Integration and Youth. Um, I know this process has taken place, um, my department have been involved in it, and I hope this is a process that can uh, deliver an outcome uh, that will be uh, satisfactory to all parties that are involved in it. Yeah, just, Minister, last October, unions representing Section 39 organisations and other sections as well reached an agreement um, to, for, for addressing pay disparity between them and HSC and, and, and Section 38. And the proposal was agreed acknowledging that the workers in these sections deserve pay equality. Now, that pay agreement has not been uh, honoured. Uh, some of the workers have only received up to 65% of the pay deal. It, it, a subsequent um, public sector pay deal has been implemented, meaning that public sector workers have received uh, another increase from January, which means the pay par uh, parity between the two organisations has widened again. It is as much as four to five euros an hour at the very basic level, up to uh, the guts of 20 euros an hour at the higher level. We've got organisations like, for example, the Irish Wheelchair Association in Cavan. They've had to uh, go reduce their service to a COVID-like service because they cannot employ people. If they employ people and, and train them, they lose them after six months to the HSE or Section 38 because they're getting paid much better and have much better conditions for doing exactly the same work. You might say that these are community and voluntary organisations, but they are doing the work on behalf of the government. They're doing the work on behalf of the HSE. If these organisations didn't exist, the HSE would have to do this work, and they would be out a lot more money.